A flow switch is a device that monitors and controls the flow rate of processed media such as steam, liquids, and gases through an industrial system, helping to maintain safe and manageable rates of flow by triggering actions within a system to provide on-off control of processed media. So what's the difference between a flow meter and a flow switch? The flow meter can only monitor and in some cases display the rate of flow, while flow switches monitor flow rates and send trip signals to trigger specific actions from machines within the system. How does a flow switch work? There are three basic flow switch designs. There's the paddle type flow switch, the piston or shuttle type, and then there are solid state flow switches, like this thermal dispersion flow switch here. First, let's look at a paddle type flow switch. The paddle design flow switch has a hinged or spring-mounted paddle, making direct contact with the media flowing through the pipe. Media flowing at the target rate or set point holds the paddle in position. An increase or decrease in the flow rate moves the paddle, which throws a small switch triggering the specified action. Next we have the piston or shuttle design flow switch. With a piston type flow switch, a free-floating magnetic piston responds to the amount of flow within the line. When there's an increase or decrease in the flow rate, movement of the piston actuates a hermetically sealed reed switch, triggering the specified action. And now let's look at a thermal dispersion flow switch. This solid state flow switch operates on the principle of heat transfer. A thermal dispersion flow switch consists of two temperature sensors. One sensor is the reference and measures the temperature of the media where the flow switch is immersed. The second temperature sensor is placed near a built-in heating element. As the flow rate of the media increases, it has a cooling effect on the heated sensor. The more the flow, the more the sensor is cooled. A decrease in the temperature differential between the two sensors indicates that the flow rate exceeds the defined set point. When the flow rate drops, there's less cooling, which causes an increase in the temperature differential. Since a thermal dispersion flow switch has no moving parts, they have a much longer service life. However, they cannot be run dry, as with some mechanical flow switches. Whichever type of flow switch you choose, be sure to review all wetted parts for chemical compatibility. Still have questions? We have answers. Click the link in the description to learn more about Omega's flow and level sensing solutions. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe.